assalamu alaikum today i am going to discuss the topic abdomen or the abdominal segments of the insects abdomen is the third segment of the insect body and it is the posterior tegma of the insect body normally 9 to 11 segments are present in the um, abdomen and these are known as the uromeres abdominal segments are telescopic in nature and they are interconnected with each other through conjunctiva. This is a membrane uh, which connects the segments of the abdomen with each other. Each abdominal segment is made up of only two secretates, uh, namely dorsal body plate which is tergum and the ventral body plate which is the sternum. Uh, dorsal secretate is known as the tergum and the ventral secretate is known as the sternum. Here you can see the abdominal segments. This one is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, tenth, and eleven is the last one. Uh, here you can uh, see the smaller fenestries or opening, uh, and these are the spiracles. Uh, uh, spiracles are the opening of a tracheal system through which insects respires, and these are the segments that are present on the last abdominal segment these are sometimes involved in the copulation these are sometimes involved in the uh, adhesion in grasshopper eight pairs of spiracles are present in the first eight segments in addition to the pair of tympanum in the first segment tympanum is uh, responsible for the uh, uh, it is responsible uh, for the detection of the sound waves Eighth and ninth abdominal segments bear the female genital structures, and the ninth segment bears the male genital st structure. Abdominal appendages in the adult insects are genital organs and the cirri. These uh, function now. What are the functions of the abdominal appendages? These are concerned with the reproduction, metabolism, respiration, excretion, and the reproduction. Now this is the diagram of the abdo um, grasshopper. Here you can see this is the meta post notum, this is the tympanum, uh, this is tergum 1, tergum 2, tergum 3, tergum 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is the epiproct segment, which is the 11 segment paraproct segment of epositor valves in the similar way. Um, and the ventral plate is known as the sternum. And yes, spiracles are present on the you know, lower side of abdomen. In uh, grasshopper now uh, where are, uh, there are various modifications of uh, the abdominal segments uh, in some insects 11 abdominal segments are present however in some cases these are reduced for example in the case of the uh, spring tail the only six segments are present in the house fly only two to five uh, segments are visible and segment six to ninth are telescoped within other here you can see the diagram This is the abdomen of the fly, and uh, th this is uh, tergum 2, tergum 3, tergum 4, 5th, and 6 to, uh, se six to ninth are telescoped with each other. Spiracles are present on the abdomen for the purpose of the respiration. This is uh, this portion is normally visible in uh, flies, however, this portion is not uh, visible in uh, flies, or you can say this portion is concealed this is the spring tail here you can see its body segments these are the antennae the eyes head prothorax and mesothorax then metathorax from the region of the thorax three pairs of uh, legs are evolved this is four leg middle leg hind leg for this is for cula. and this is anus this is abdominal segment three uh, known as the reta nula Similarly, there is another example. Here you can also see Turgum 2, Turgum 3, Turgum 4, Turgum 5, 6, and 7. Uh, and the, on the ventral side, sternum is present. Abdominal segments uh, um, just before the propodium is known as the gaster. Various appendages are present on the insect abdomen. Pregenital abdominal appendages in the wingless insects, abdominal appendages in the immature insects, abdominal appendages in the wing and wing adults insects. Pre-abdominal appendages in the wingless insects are the 
style eye and the singular is the stylus varying number of paired tube like outgrowths these are present on the ventral surface of the uh, silverfish and these are the reduced abdominal legs which help in locomotion this is the self silverfish and uh, on the ventral side of the abdomen uh, stylus are present for the purpose of the locomotion colophore or ventral uh, tube or glue peg the, the location of the colophore is on the ventral side of first abdominal segment of spring tail it is cylindrical and protruded out by the hydrostatic pressure exerted by the hemolymph it might serve as an uh, organ of the adhesion and aids aid in its main help in the water absorption from the substratum and also in the respiration this is the colophore and they, um, it is in a rigid uh, state due to uh, force exerted by the hemolymph and uh, the function of the colophore, colophore is adhesion as well as the absorption of the water from the substratum as well as in uh, respiration Next uh, segment is the uh, retinaculum or retinaculum or catch. It is present on the ventral side of the third abdominal segment and it is useful or uh, act as a hold a holding organ. Here the retinaculum is visible in green color in the subtrain tail. Furcula or furcua, it is a Y-shaped structure. It is present on the venter of fourth abdominal segment. When it is released from the catch, it exerts the force against the substratum and the insect is propelled in the air just like the jet propulsion mechanism. This is the furcula. Abdominal appendages in the immature gills, tracheal gills. Gills are the lateral outgrowth of the body wall and they are uh, richly supplied with the capillaries sorry this is the mistake here they are richly supplied with the capillaries and uh, um, uh, exchange of oxygen and the carbon dioxide occur between the blood of the capillaries and the water um, in naids naids are the aquatic immature stages of hemimetabolous insects Seven pairs of filamentous gills are present in the first seven abdominal segments of naids of mayfly and they are known as the lateral gills. Three or two leaf life gills lamellate. They are found at the end of the abdomen of naid of dem dems fly and are called as the caudal gills. In dragonfly, the gills are retained within the abdomen in a pouch-like rectum and they are known as the rectal glands. This is the mayfly and they are predaceous and uh, are detritivorous. Feed on the dead decaying organic matter as a nymph. Adults do not feed. These are the wing pads and uh, this is the gill cover and these are the gills. And this is three tail filament. Circi. This is the larvae or nymph made. Anal papillae. A group of four papillae surround the anus in the mosquito larvae and these papillae are concerned with the salt regulation this is the larvae uh, microscopic uh, uh, pictogram of uh, mosquito larvae around the anal region four segments are present which are known as anal papillae dolly chester these structures are found on the abdomen of uh, antilon grub each dolly chester is a segmental protuberance fringed with CT. This is the antilon grub. Prolex, these are present in the larvae of moths, butterfly, and sawfly. Normal uh, number is two to five pairs, and they are unsegmented and fleshy. The tip of the prolex is called planta, upon which heavily scleratized hooks are present known as the crochets and they aid in the crawling and clinging to the surface and this is the larval diagram 
here true uh, legs are present uh, legs on the region of the thorax are known as the true legs and while uh, legs present on the abdominal uh, region in case of the larvae are known as the prolex on the surface of the prolex crochets are present for the purpose of the clinging these are the spiracles and they are involved in the gaseous exchange and these are the further abdominal segments 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is the thorax prothorax mesothorax and the metathorax this is the head this is the cervical shield ocelli are present on the front side of the uh, head abdominal appendages in the pink adult cornicles efforts have a pair of short tubes known as the cornicles or siphonoculi projecting from the dorsum of the fifth or sixth abdominal segment they permit the escape of flexi fluid which perhaps serve for the protection against the predators Caudal breathing tube, it consists of two grooved uh, filament closely applied to each other, forming a hollow tube at the apex of the abdomen, for example, water scorpion. Here you can see the scorpion. This is the water strider, a member of the uh, order Hemiptera, uh, living in water. Water scorpion. Water boatman, back swimmer, noto nectar, frontal tubercels, antennae, cornicles, corda. This is also the diagram of mosquito larvae. Its specific position is uh, to some extent oblique under the surface of the water. So, sorry, these are most conspicuous appendages associated normally with the 11th abdominal segment they are sensory in function they exhibit wide diversity and form them long uh, they are long and many segmented for example in mayfly long and unsegmented in the cricket short and many segmented in the grasshopper short and unsegmented in the grass grasshopper Secularize and forceps like in ear wicks are useful in the defense prey capture unfolding wings and the courtship in case of ear wig asymmetrical cirsi these are present in male and mid left circus is longer than the right and function as the clasping organ during the copulation insect abdominal segments are circus are visible in various insects these are the circus in male and female circus uh, cir cirsi are different This is the simple abdominal cross section. Turgum 9 and epiproct circus. Simple circus is present. Here the circus is the segmented and and here the circus is asymmetrical. Right one is different from left one. And here sexually in sexually dimorphic uh are different in males and females. Non reproductive appendages, cirsi. These are the cirsi. Here you can see that this, this, is, this is a male. Uh, you can identify it from special structure of the cirsi. Tail like appendages present on the mayfly are also known as cirsi. This is the, these are the tail like appendages present on the abdomen of the mayfly are known as cirsi. In uh, ear wig, these are used for the purpose of defense. These are the anal cirsi in male, in the female. 